Hello and welcome to another video. Today I'll be showing you how to continue on your Discord bot that we created earlier. Uh, we started by creating the folders and we created an npm package with npm in it. We downloaded the necessary dependencies and packages, including discord.js. We created the bot itself on discordapp.com slash developers and we got this uh, code up here so that it, everything is online and running. We also use a token in config.json and then required it here as well as referenced it in here so that we can then use it uh, from here. Later I'll be making a video on how to upload this to git and you can use git.ignore to ignore this uh, config.json so people can't see your token and log in as your bot. This is quite useful so you don't have everything directly in here and instead of trying to look through your code and find for everything in your place you just change the different things you need in the JSON file and then you should be good to go and you don't have to search through hundreds of lines of code for whatever you need. So uh, in this video as if you've probably seen the title we're making a command handler and this is going to create a uh, folder within tutorial bot. And we're going to call this commands. And so now we're going to say bot dot commands equals new discord dot collection. And this is going to say that uh, the bot commands are a new Discord collection, and so we can go down here. And now we're going to use. Actually, I forgot. We got to use. We're going to use a package that is already in Node.js, and it's called fs. So if we're going to use const fs equals require fs. And so fs can be used for reading and writing to JSON files and other types of files. So to get this to work, we're going to use fs dot read directory reader, and we're going to do commands, comma parentheses error files. We're going to do arrow function. And again, as I said before, I strongly recommend going to Code Academy and learning things about error functions and different things like errors and requiring and uh, everything you might need or some other type of uh, course like Udemy or something. So I'm going to do if error console dot log error. Now we're going to do let js file equal files dot filter f arrow f dot split dot pop dot pop is equal to js er, js and so all of this is going well actually I need to put in a lot more but if js file dot length is a smaller or the same as zero then console dot log no no commands were found so and then we're just gonna return it so uh, what this does here is this basically says if we don't find any uh, JS files in here, the commands folder, then we're going to say that there are no commands are found in this console and return it. Next, we're going to do JS file dot for each F I. So now for each JS file, let props equal require and I gotta do a backtick. It's right below oops, sorry. 
parentheses, now I gotta do a back tick. It's not the apostrophe right here, it's the back tick directly below the escape key. And now we're going to do um, commands and F. And so it's basically just gonna require each uh, file, command, uh, and such. And then we're gonna do console.log. And ah, sorry. F, sorry. Backtick, backtick. All right. So F, um, loaded. And then finally, we're gonna do bot dot commands dot set props dot help dot name props. And so basically what this is going to result in is for each file, it's going to require the file, it's going to load the file, or it's going to uh, log that it's loaded, and it should basically just, all this should read, be able to read and ex uh, the files here. So now we're going to do uh, bot.on message a sync message arrow function so now we're going to put in a couple of things here uh, what this little thing does right here is uh, when there is a message then if the message dot, uh, dot author dot bot return so what this does is, if the message is, or sorry, the author of the message is a bot, then don't do anything. And this is because we don't want bots answering each other in an infinite loop. Uh, if message dot channel dot type is equal to DM or Discord message, then return. So if someone's trying to run things and commands uh, inside your private messages or DMs, Discord messages, then just return it. We're not going to do anything with that. So now we're going to define a few variables, uh, things we can use so we can identify what is going to be used in the actual command. So let prefix equal config.prefix. Let message array equal message dot con content dot split and so here you have to be very precise here you have to have the space here and everything has to be correct here next I'm going to do let command equal message array and we're going to do zero so if you've done anything like uh, some languages they might use an array the first thing is going the first argument is going to be a one in JavaScript, this is actually a zero as the first argument. So after the prefix, uh, so this is saying kind of ignore the prefix after the prefix, uh, then the command, uh, we're going to be calling a command, is the first argument or message array zero, or whatever you're calling it by. And then finally, let args equal message array dot slice one and so now all everything after that command the ping part of it will then be uh, like separated the arguments is everything after that and the last thing's going to do is if command is equal to backtick prefix wait actually my bad uh, we don't even need to do this because we're making command handler. That was a sample command we could have made. So now we're going to do let command file equal bot dot commands dot get command dot slice prefix dot length if command file command file dot run bot message args 
And so this should be everything, actually, right here. We should need nothing else in order to get our bot to actually do things. So, or uh, to get any more things in here. So now if we were to run node bot.js, and right now you should see TetBot is currently offline, but if we were to run it, tutorial bot is in fact online. And let me see what I did here. Um, all right, so right. Oh, I never saved this. My bad. So no bot.js. So you need to make sure to save it. So now it's going to say no commands were found in this command folder. There were no commands inside, it. and that's just what we want. Now we can see tutorial bot is in fact online. Uh, if you saw before, it is watching. Right now, prefix is dash, and it is indeed. All right. So now that it's, we can actually uh, make a new file in here, and we're going to call this ping.js. So one of the things that we're going to be using, that's going to be the format for every single command we make, at least for the basic part of it, is we're going to require discord.js. So const discord equals require discord.js. Next, I'm going to do module.exports.run equals um, a sync uh, sync bot message arcs. Oops. Here we go. Next, I'm going to do module that exports that help equals brackets name. And we're going to put in uh, this is going to be either just the format for everything. So name is going to be whatever the name is. So name here. In this case, it's going to be ping. And you can copy this and you can put it for every single thing you need. So now in here we're going to put the command. So um, if the command is ping, then we're going to put in one single line of code. Message.channel.send pong. And I should actually, I can put a return here. And so, just in case. Now we can restart the bot. Then I might get it. No, everything works fine. And we get ping.js is loaded. Tutorial bot is online. So it might not work, but our dash is our prefix. Now I can put in the command ping and the arguments. Uh, in this case, we actually have no arguments. So, and the bot actually does respond with Pong. It responds perfectly, then there's no errors. And so this is great. We now have a command uh, handler and everything is going well. Ping.js is loaded, there are no errors, and we can now use, just put in a new file for every single command we have. This is one of the most efficient ways of doing things instead of having 600 lines of code of every single command all in one main file and that is so hard to debug and it'd be much much easier if everything was separated in different files like this we can actually take this out so uh, this format minus this uh, if you just take, take this out this format is everything that you're going to need for every single command you use. And this is a what a lot of intensive bot makers, I guess you could say developers, they use. So uncomment this. And so that should wrap this up. We now have a working command and a command handler, as well as some uh, commands folder, and we can put in several uh, files for every single file we have in here is going to put in whatever it is .js is loaded.
And so this will be very helpful throughout the course. And anyways, thanks for watching. Our next video is going to be a quick bonus video which I'll be uploading very soon. It's going to be about uh, putting this up to GitHub. And this will be used for source control if you ever need backups or anything. It's right there and you can use it. It's also good for collaboration, uh, just helping your community and such, and uh, solving issues, whatever you need. And it's just it's a pretty big necessity, some kind of source control. And anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you had a good time. After that video, I'll be releasing a video on some commands we can use, some probably uh, good commands, and I'll be talking about embeds as well. And thanks for watching, hope you had fun, and goodbye.